What's up, Patriots? I'm Danielle. And I'm Lily. And here's the Patriot. kind of crazy this is the first episode Fort's put on the last decade i honestly do not think that we could have pulled it off me neither all right patriots get ready it's time for the riot rundown what's shaking patriots i'm kelsey and i'm taylor and we're here with the riot, riot rundown. rundown when is sports are kicking off and on a roll lace up those tennis shoes and get ready for track conditioning starting december the 9th our basketball season is up and running along with our wrestling season come on and pack the stands to support our fellow patriots our theater program has had their auditions for the Winter Musical of Chicago. Congrats to all who made the cast. Break a leg. Be on the lookout for the show in February. Now, here's a look into the FDHS theater program. I am Miss Corinne Tayo. I've been teaching at Fort. This is my fourth year at Fort Dorchester High School. I, I like to joke that like boyfriends come and go, but theater has always been consistent. For me and for a lot of people that do theater, it's a community experience and theater helps bring that connection, whether it's these are people coming together to make a show, but also these are people coming together to make a show about things that are happening in real life. I have become a better person because of it. It's a family. This, whether you're in the class or you're in the shows or you're involved in both things, you know, you do make a family in this room. Okay, I'm Bailey Payne and I'm president of ITS. To me, theater is a way that I can express myself without pushing myself too far. It's a nice escape from my real life. <laughs> I think that if you're interested in joining a theater class, definitely sign up for it and acknowledge that it is work. You do have to participate, but if you participate, if you commit fully to the experience, it will be very rewarding. Once you take one class, you're sucked in. There's an, a theater Instagram for Fort. It's FDHS Theater, and theater is spelled with an R-E at the end, not E-R. We actually have a Facebook group for parents called the FDHS Drama Mamas and Papas. That's, where, that's really where everything happens. They post updates about the shows, about when auditions are, about like the like stupid theater memes that we all laugh at. Like it's just that's that's where you should go if you want everything. Do it. Sign up for it. I mean, if you keep going with theater, it just gets better and better and better as the years go on. Speaking of creative, the new showcast had a little creative contest of our own. We had a creative cookie contest where each broadcasting class had three different people designing their own cookie theme. To get you all involved, we put it up to you guys to vote for your favorite, and you picked 3A. Since we're on the topic of cookies, the Beta Club recently put on a Butts and Wings Festival where they had an awesome bake sale. Here's a look back at the festival. I'm Jalen Holmes, and today I'm here with Melanie Delgado, and we will be discussing Beta Club. So you're a senior now and you're in Beta Club. Tell us about it. Alrighty. So I am co-president this year alongside with Shadara Nakimo Sai. And um, a little bit about Beta is that we just try to interact with the community and interact with our school so we can make it the best that we can be. What? So it seems like Beta Club helps people in many things. What are some of the things that Beta Club do to like help people? As a club, we usually do our annual barbecue and all that money goes towards Camp Happy Days. We also have done um, different days, so like days for World of Kindness. Um, we started picking up trash alongside uh, Patriot Boulevard. We also think about like our school staff. We think about like the school psychologists and people that some people might forget about, but we try to remind them that we're here for them, that we care for them and we appreciate them. I really just want it to be as successful as possible. I want to leave a legacy. I want people to remember 2019 and 2020 as a momentous, you know, type of club that we did a lot for the community that we tried our hardest to interact and be able to just be there for Fort and like show that our Patriot pride really. So hopefully for the future, we'll be even more successful and have an even better board than what we have this year. What are you guys' Thanksgiving traditions? Um, the whole family eats and all the favorite cousins take a walk. Wow. 
Um, we just eat a lot of Mexican food. Okay, um, Thanksgiving morning, I go to my aunt's house on my mom's side and all her family's there and we eat lunch. And then um, Thanksgiving night, I go to my grandma's house on my dad's side and all his family. That's very nice. Um, we go to my grandma's house and eat. And I do that too. <laughs> we all gather at my grandma's house and you know play games sometimes. Eat. We eat the turkey, macaroni, and cheese. I usually travel to Boston to go spend time with some of my other family members. Usually during Thanksgiving, I like to eat, hang out with friends and family and do a lot of fun things that I consider fun. Usually I just go over to Amaya's house and eat with her family. We go to my family's house and eat. That's all. <laughs> um, go to my auntie house eat food, you know, to mm -hmm. spend family time, you know. That's up. Family time, you know. That's how that's what we do. I said eat food and watch football. Thanks for tuning in, Patriots. I'm Lily. And I'm Danielle. And, and we're, we're signing, signing off. off.